This video demonstrates how quick and easy it is to create a new data web account and web application, move a Microsoft Access database to the web, and invite guests to your new website so that data can be shared and edited by others securely. As an example, we are going to create a new data web application by uploading a copy of the standard Microsoft Access Northwind Traders database. To get started, register for a new free trial at dataweb.com. Fill out the form and press Get Started. You will then be able to select a username and password. You should be aware that though you will be able to change and recover your password at any time, you will not be able to change your username once your account has been set up. Check the DataWeb membership agreement box if you have read and agreed the membership agreement and click register. Unless you have an existing DataWeb file archive to upload, select the first button to build an application from scratch on the Create New Web Application page and select Next. Select a subdomain for your application. This will be the URL that you and your invited users will use to access your data. By default, no one other than you will have permissions to access your application or data until you invite them or change your application permission settings. Please contact DataWeb Support if you would like to have your application hosted on a different root domain other than dataweb.com. Click Create Application. Select a theme. Colors, fonts, and styles can be changed at any time in the future. Click Next. On the Data Source screen, click the appropriate boxes and buttons to add data and pre-programmed modules. Click here to upload a Microsoft Access database. Notice we could also build a new table from scratch, import CFV file, or import some Excel worksheet data if we wanted. All of these options are available later. We can also choose to not add any data at this time, resulting in a blank database. The four other checkboxes are here to enable you to add pre-programmed module functionality to your application, such as a calendar or discussion board. These modules can be added later at any time. Click Next. Select the Access Database from your computer by using the Browse button. If you are unsure about uploading your own data at this time, but still want to investigate the power of the DataWeb platform, we suggest you going out to the Microsoft site grabbing any one of the Microsoft sample or template databases, like Northwind Traders, and uploading and experimenting from there. You can upload MDB, ACCDB, or zip files. We suggest zipping up your database for faster upload, especially if your database is large or you have a slow connection. We also highly recommend compacting and repairing your database once before uploading. Again, this minimizes the size of the database. If your database is password protected, be sure to include your password. Click Import. Uploading may take a few minutes, again, depending on your database size and connection speed. Once the file is uploaded, you will be redirected to the Import Status page and be shown as each table is imported into your new application. This may take a few minutes if your database is large. Once you see the progress complete message, click OK. Your data, relationships, and tables have now been moved to the DataWeb Secure Enterprise Data Center. You now have an application complete with default insert and update forms and reporting views of all your data. At this time, you can either browse the application or jump into the development environment and start making changes. For now, let's take a look at our application by selecting Browse Application. Notice by default, every table has a tab across the top. 
Click any tab to see the default grid view of the data provided. You can sort and filter by any column. You can also explore the default details view as well as the default insert new form and edit forms. All of these views of your data can be changed in the development environment along with specifying what users have access to view and change what data. Because you are an application administrator, you should see this edit page button on the top of each page as you browse the application. Clicking this button will allow you to make changes in the development environment. One of the things you will find inside the development environment is the application schema. Notice it looks identical to the one uploaded. Most users of your application will not see the edit page button, nor have access to the development environment. Speaking of users, you are currently the only secure user of your application. Anyone else who attempts to access your URL will not have access to any part of your new application. To invite other users, go to your application homepage, click on Manage Membership Applications, and on the Membership Applications page, click Invite Members to Join. Simply add the new member's email, and if you want them to be able to get into the development environment and change pages and permissions, assign them to the Administrators group. If not, assign them to any of the other three groups. If you have a list of members to add, hit the More Members button. Click OK when completed, and each of your members will get an email with a link and simple instructions. You can remove members at any time, and if they forget their password, they can always reset it themselves without the need of an administrator. And that's all it takes. You have created a new web application, uploaded relational data, and your application is complete with forms. You've invited new users, so you can all share the same set of information. There are an infinite number of features, modules, and capabilities that can be added to increase the functionality of your data web application. We encourage you to explore dataweb.com and our related support and documentation to learn more.